Hi and welcome to cgboomer.com. This is Hans Erickson and I want to welcome you to session 20 of my uh, work in progress in making my uh, old dog new tricks film. Uh, today is part two of making my uh, spindle chair and um, I've kind of changed my mind about how I'm doing the uh, the seat so I am going to take that uh, item right there and I'm just going to hit X and delete um, instead I'm going to kind of work on my spindles down here a little bit more uh, put my supports in and then um, kind of go from there first thing I'm going to do is uh, grab <coughs> excuse me uh, go to my uh, deal down here now this is duplicating four times because of my mirror so what I'm going to do is uh, click this right here and I am going to just delete my mirror image. Uh, let me get into here and I want to make sure that I've got this. Yes I do. Okay. I just want to make sure that my um, my uh, that my median point is exactly in the center of this uh, of this spindle and I'm going to go ahead and move it to my first layer and uh, let me go ahead and get to that layer I'm going to hit shift s cursor to center so I'm exactly in the center of my uh, uh, grid there and then I'm going to hit Shift S, uh, selection to cursor, and set it right there. Uh, go ahead and hit 7, and I'm going to go Shift D to duplicate it, and then rotate my duplicated item 90 degrees. All right, going into side view here by hitting three on my new pad, I'm going to go G and Z, and I'm going to move it up to right about there. Then I'm going to go ahead and size it on the Y axis. Well, actually, I'm going to size it all the way around. I'm just going to hit S and size it and just bring it down to right like that. So if I'm looking at it the side, it's just barely getting into these sections right here. I'm then going to hit 7 on my noon pad. I'm going to go uh, G and X and move it over to where I'm intersecting in. Let me go 1 on my noon pad. And you can see that I'm, I want to get right to that portion there. So let's go G and X. And I'm going to move it so that I'm bisecting this leg right like that. Actually, I think I can move it over just a little bit. G and X. Hit shift and I think that's a little more centered right there. Now I'm going to go back over to here and I am going to get out of uh, my feet and inches and go to none. I'm going to look and see that uh, I am uh, 0.232 on my x-axis for this object. So if I hit Shift D and duplicate that item, And if I come up here and I, uh, let me see, click into there and just go over to the, hit a minus, whoops, let me move all the way over here, just hit a minus sign there and hit enter. I'll then have duplicated that same object and then moved it over to where it is bisected in exactly the same spot on the other side. Uh, I can then grab this object here, 
I'll go hitting one on my noon pad, go G and Z. Uh, if I go to this right here, I can see that Z is at uh, 0.160. So if I grab this and I just hit that and go 0 0.160, I should be bisected exactly in the center. You can see I'm protruding through a little bit, so if I go 7 on my noon pad and S, uh, and this time I am going to hit Shift Z so I don't uh, size it any on the Z axis. Well, actually, no, I think I'm going to be fine. Let me just hit S and kind of move it in right about that so it looks as though that I am bisecting in there and I've got my leg supports in there now so everything looks good I am going to grab this item this item and this item uh, I'm going to hit control J and um, I'm going to control click there whoops control click and spindle and I'm just going to write um, S U P P O R T S supports well actually yeah that looks well no let me X that out and I'm going to go chair leg S P I N D L E S S U P P O R T S support. There we go. Um, eventually, I'm going to make all of these the same object, but uh, because I've got a modifier on this, I don't want to do that just yet. But uh, that pretty much takes care of that. All right, go in seven in my. Uh, I am still got my cursor exactly in the center there, so. Um, let me go 7 and I'm going to hit shift add mesh circle and I am going to change it to 16 vertices and I'm going to size it down right let me zoom in S and hit control and just so that I'm right like that now you can see this isn't a perfect uh, square so I need to uh, kind of change this dimension a little bit so if I hit S uh, and Y I'll just constrain it on the Y axis if I hold shift that'll slow it down quite a bit and there I go all right, this is going to be my seat. So let me uh, go C H R uh, S E eight seat. I'm going to go G and Z. Let me go into side view or something here. Uh, G and Z and raise it up to right about oh I'd say right about there I'll go into edit mode 7 on my noon pad and let's hit S whoops let's go uh, extrude and then S to scale it in uh, let's go right about there all right now we're just going to do a little quick modification to this to bring it into the shape of a chair uh, chair seat uh, before I do that though I think I am going to size that end just a tad more I'm going to hit S on my uh, pad there and go 
shift Z so I'm only constraining on the X and Y and just move it in just a touch more. I'm going to grab this uh, uh, point right here. I'm going to enable. Um, well, actually, let me do something here first. Let's um, X out of that. Let's go. Um, let's box select all of this here and X vertices. Uh, come over and let's add a modifier. Uh, let's go with a mirror modifier. Uh, make sure I got clipping enabled and enable in edit cage. Now I'm going to grab this particular one right here, making sure that I'm enabled on my proportional editing. And I'm going to go G and I'm going to, let me see G and I'm going to size this way down to right about there and go G and just kind of move this over probably about like yay and I'm going to do the same thing here uh, G and just kind of bring that over about like yay you just gonna have to kind of do this by touch and feel and that looks pretty good all right now if I take this point and this point hit F and I am then going to uh, let's go ahead and subdivide it and let's mm, let's add two cuts like that well no let's go three cuts there we go now if I connect these two here I go F and then if I subdivide that one time let me increase that to two cuts I think that'll work Let me go ahead and hit F and connect that. Subdivide it one time. And let's do this and F. And F one two three four F and one two three hmm seem to have too many vertices there I think what I wanted to do was let me X that one vertice out connect these two go F and now connect these and F. Um, I want to connect these two lines here. Let me hit F. And I'm going to subdivide it one time. And I can hit this and this and this and this and hit F. Hit these here like this. Hit F two three four hit F and one two three four F and I'm going to take this line here and I'm going to go uh, S X whoops let me get out of proportional editing 
and hit S, X, 0, and there we go. Um, now I'm going to uh, G, well, let me see, uh, Control E, let's try edge slide and just kind of move that over just a little bit, kind of straighten it up a little bit. And that looks fairly good. I'm going to grab this. All right, I know I think I've got pretty much what I want. Um, let me let me smooth that, and then hit everything. Uh, let's uh, recalculate the normals. As soon as I find it, there we go. And okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to uh, hit extrude, and it automatically snaps into the Z axis. And I'm just going to kind of move that up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go into object mode. And I'm just going to kind of see how I'm doing on my reference here. So let me uh, click back into edit view. I'm going to go G and Z. I'm going to hold my shift button down to kind of slow myself up. And it looks like I want to be right about there. Now I can uh, go back into object mode, click out of that, and I want to go ahead and add a modifier and let's go multi-resolution and subdivide it uh, two times should be good uh, go control R and let's add in two loops and then S and Z to kind of bump it up there a little bit, kind of square those edges just a little bit. And that looks pretty much about what I want. Um, let's take these two vertexes right here. Uh, let's take all three of these vertexes here. And I'm going to go G and Z and just kind of bump that down a little bit. So if I then get in here, you can kind of see where the little butt cheek um, indentations are. It's kind of subtle, but it's there. And that is pretty much going to be my seat. I could do a little more modeling on that. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into face mode. I'm going to grab these items here or these faces here uh, making sure that I got clipping enabled there I'm going to shift D to duplicate them and then snap right out of it I'm going to hit P to separate by selection and leave it right there uh, let me then get into let me find that let me see, that would be chair seat, chair seat 001. Uh, let me go into edit mode there. I'm going to hit G. Whoops. I'm going to hit extrude. And move it up right about like yay. There I go. I kind of liking that. Uh, let me go control R and put a couple loops in there and S and Z kind of bump that up and that is about what I want. Uh, the reason I did that is uh, I've seen a lot of chairs that have had um, uh, like a little area 
uh, blocked out area, that uh, part of the seat that uh, kind of where the spindles that proceed up for everything else uh, comes off of. So I've decided to add that. Now I just need to kind of get this to, uh, let's see, if I bump my multi-res up one more and I come down here and bump it up one more. Uh, it seems like I'm lifted off the pad here a little bit. Uh, let me get into side view. So let me first take this right here and I'm going to grab these two loops uh, here and here and I'm going to scale them a little bit more in the Z direction so S and Z and kind of move them uh, a little closer that way and then I'm going to grab this one uh, tab into edit mode and S and Z and scale those a little bit closer that way and then go three on my noon pad and then G and Z to kind of pull it down a little bit and that let me see here hit a okay it looks like I've got two separate units there and that is precisely what I wanted um, I can kind of clean this up a little bit uh, by coming in here let me grab this here uh, grab that one that one and that one did that go all the way through yes yes it did and going seven on my new pad I'm going to go um, S um, I think it's Y uh, zero and click and let's take a look here that is definitely looking a lot better um, so I think that is going to be what I want for that um, everything okay that's all kind of to my liking I think what I would like to do though is get into here grab this hit a or here and let me whoops grab this in this line here and I'm also going to go G and Z and just bring that down just a skosh and okay I still got a ridge going there and my little indentations but it doesn't look like it's going to be crawling right up his crotch so that uh, that looks good to me uh, the only other thing I could possibly do here um, mm, no I'm not I'm gonna leave that just like that I think that'll work fine for me all right now I'm gonna kind of work on the back a little bit so I can get my slope that I want so if I come into here and I grab this line right here I can go shift s uh, cursor to selected all right and go into object view and then I'm going to add in my other object here uh, if I hit control one I'll go into a orthographic back view and I'm going to go shift add or shift a to add mesh circle I'm going to run this down to 16 as well 
and then I'm just going to size this down to where I am right like that uh, then I'm going to go G and Z move that directly all the way up right like right about there okay that looks about what I want there so now I can get rid of my reference there well it appears as though let me get over. Well, I didn't mean to do that um, just lost my little deal here uh, hold on while I get it back okay I had never done that before um, but uh, there's a little plus sign over here I hit it and it come right back but I want to get to this one here and I want to move that object to that first layer and get over to here there I go all right uh, let me get into uh, control one get into my back view here um, get into edit mode go into vertices uh, A to deselect everything B to box select and I'm going to box select all of that I'm going to hit X and get rid of those vertices I'm going to grab these two vertices I'm going to extrude them and I'm going to go well actually no I didn't want to do that yet let me do this first uh, let me go control Z back here and get back to where I was uh, the one thing I do want to do is I want to well let's do this first okay I'm gonna go S or excuse me extrude and then S to scale it in not very far maybe about like yay uh, go ahead and uh, hit everything a go into side view and extrude and move it just a little bit like EA <coughs> all right uh, grab everything let's uh, recalculate the normals all right good now going control one into a back view deselect everything let's go hit Z to go into wireframe I'm going to be grab all of that right there and now hit X and delete those vertices and control one to get back into uh, my back view uh, box select again I'm going to grab both of those I'm going to go extrude and then G through Z and I'm going to run those straight down like that I will take care of uh, fixing its position and everything here in just a second uh, the first thing I want to do now is go into uh, object mode and I'm going to transform origin to 3d cursor uh, then go into solid view and I can do a little finagling now so let's go let me go into uh, front view and kind of just kind of skew that over here just a little bit and let's go S and X and kind of move that all in a little bit Uh, let's say right about there let's go uh, G and uh, let's go Y 
and kind of move that in. Okay, let's go S and X again and kind of move that in just about like yay. Actually, I don't like what I did there. Control Z, 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 Z. Okay. Um, I am just going to hit S and scale it down. I'll fix all that here in just a minute. One. Okay. That'll work. I'm going to go G and X or Y and kind of move that in right about like yay and is that about where I want it? Yeah, not too bad. That'll work. Alright, uh, let me go back into solid view. Uh, let me, I don't know, let me get back into wireframe again. Uh, go A to deselect everything, one for front view. Uh, I'm going to go G or B to again box select and then go tab I'm going to add back in my reference chair I'm going to go to solid and then back into object mode there or edit mode and then I'm going to go G and Z and just kind of raise that up to where I know I need to be. All right, we're going to fix how this all looks here here in a little bit, but right now that is roughly about what I want. So let me go back into object mode here, click out of that, and come into here. I want to hit Control R. Let's add in a couple loops there, and then S and Y. Kind of bring those out. I want to do the same thing. Control R, and then S and Y and bring those out uh, control R two loops and that is not going to, let me see S and X no that's not going to work um, control Z get out of that uh, let me hit front view here kind of zoom in a little bit control R just add one loop and manually slide it over and then control R do the same thing here and just kind of slide it over that way a little touchy and I'll need to do the same thing with the back here so control 1 to get into a good back view control R and slide that one in and then control R again and then slide that one that way oh. and let's hit come up here and let's hit smooth okay not bad And uh, let's add a multi. Uh, let's add a multi-resolution modifier in there, and subdivide it.
couple times and uh, not looking too bad. I'm kind of going to go with that for right now. Uh, probably going to add a mirror modifier in there a little later on, but uh, right now this will kind of get what I want. Now the only other thing I need to do <coughs> is kind of get that back slope a little bit. So let's go to uh, 3 there and let's go ahead and rotate that and let's rotate it 8 degrees. That seems to be about uh, what I've been rotating things at and kind of getting them there and uh, that looks pretty good to me right now. So let me grab this object here now. I am going to go shift D, duplicate it, uh, G and Z. I'm going to move it up. I'm going to bring in this object here because what I want to do is I want to bring it, this is going to be my armrest here. So let's go G and Z and move it to where I just get right into my armrest there and that looks pretty good. Let's bump out of that and so now I've got a crude armrest and uh, a place to add some spindles here and then finally some spindles up into there. Okay I was just uh, checking my time. Um, right now I'm about 36 minutes so I just want to take a little bit more time and just get a little further along. Um, first thing I want to do is I want to move this back G and Z or excuse me uh, Y and move that back to about yay. So I'm kind of centered in this little area here and then I want to go ahead and that looks pretty good uh, let's go 7 for top view go into edit mode here uh, let us go uh, G and because those front loops are already uh, selected go G and Z uh, y, kind of extend those out a little bit and then S and X I want to expand those out. Let's just see what that looks like right now. That is pretty close to what I want. Uh, let's grab this loop here and Um, G and X, let's see, whoops, let's go G and X and kind of move that in a little bit. Let me hit tab and that is pretty much kind of what I want. I think that'll work. Um, don't really want to add anything more to it at the moment. Um, just kind of wanted to shove that back and let me see, let me go into side view. Actually I think I can extend that out just a little bit more. So let me go ahead and do that. Let's go 7 on my new pad. Uh, tab into edit view here. Uh, Alt Well actually let me go alt there and shift alt here and then go 7 and then go G and Y and let's just pull that out to right about there. Let's go 3 in my new pad and maybe just a little more G and Y. Pull that out a little bit further. All 
I actually might have gone a little bit too far but I'll change that in just a moment yeah I kind of feel like I did but I'll, I'll change that in a moment let me go ahead and grab these right here I'm going to shift D to duplicate uh, G and Z kind of move these up uh, then I'm going to get rid of the Y axis and I'm going to straighten these up 0 to 0 so they're perfectly straight up and down uh, go 3, uh, G and Y, move those over to there, right about there, go G and uh, Z, move those up to right about there, uh, S and no, G and X, let's move that to right about there. Let's see how that looks. One. Yeah, that's pretty well centered there. Uh, let's go three on my noon pad and let's size that right down. Just hit S on my noon pad. Size that right down to right about, well, let's zoom in here. S and Z, oh no, just S, and kind of move that. Let's go G and Y, move that a little forward. And now let's rotate that, or let's move that uh, on the X axis. Let's again go to 8 degrees, and then let me go three, go one on my new pad. Uh, that seems to kind of center up about what I want. So the only other thing I need to do now is I'm going to grab this and seven. And I'm going to go G and Y. Kind of about, let's say, right about there. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, I think I can go just a little bit further. I'll hit three on my new pad. Uh, tab. G and Y. Move that out just a little bit further. I want to give that as maximum as I can without making it look really, really bad. Uh, G and Y and I think that's about as far as I want to go with it so I'm going to be happy with that I'm going to hit uh, three on my new pad I'm going to grab these I'm going to go shift D duplicate them whoops did I do that G no I didn't uh, shift D to duplicate I'm going to go G and Y, move those back to kind of center up right in the middle of this strut here. I'm going to change my rotation the other direction to a minus 8. Uh, let me kind of look at my positioning here. Let me get in, go to 1. I'm going to go G and X and move those into where I'm centered up right about there so I am thoroughly encased inside of this. In fact if I come over to here and I hit x-ray down here you can see where I am right in the center there and that is just exactly what I want. So now I can grab this here I can go control R
Oops. Go control. Did I just duplicate that by accident? G. No. Uh, let's go control R. Uh, let's add, take two loops. And no, I did not want to do that. Control Z. Let's go control R. Add a loop. And let's move it to right there. Um, I'm going to hit X-ray on that as well, so I kind of see what I'm doing. I'll go three on my new pad, and then Control R again, and bring that right down to there. I'm going to hit Z on my new pad. Um, I'm going to go B to box select, box select all of that, and I'm going to hit X to, whoops, whoops, I did not want to do that yet. Let me go A to deselect everything, B to box select, and then X to delete vertices. I'm going to go into front view, and I'm going to go B to box select, all of that there, X, and delete vertices. Uh, let's go over to modifier. Uh, I'm going to add in a mirror modifier now, and clipping, cage view, and go into solid view. Let's come over here, get rid of X-ray, and three. Okay, I've got a, um, I got my backrest uh, pretty well modeled in there. I need to uh, do a little bit more work with it. Uh, you can see where it's a little pointed there. That is easily taken care of by. Let's just go ahead and subdivide it one more time. And let me go into three. No, excuse me, one. Let me grab this loop here and go G and Z and just kind of drop that down a little bit. And uh, let's make sure that I've smoothed it. And that pretty much take took care of that. It'll actually improve here a little bit more in a little bit. I've got a little more tweaking to do. Uh, but now I do feel this is the point in which I need to stop. Uh, next session, I'm just going to add in these the rest of these um, spindles here. I'm not going to put any more spindles in here. And I'm just going to call it quits at that point. Uh, and we'll start to work on the texture, which is actually going to be pretty easy. I think we can wrap this whole thing up uh, on the next session. So I just need to model this a little bit more, uh, kind of flare it out, and, and just do a couple other little things with it. Uh, but I've got my angle, and I'm happy with that. Uh, get the rest of my spindles in back here, and then the same thing back in here, and uh, we're pretty well good to go. The one, um, yeah, I'm actually pretty darn happy with this right at the moment. So I'm going to uh, thank you again for um, joining with me on this session, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and save my file. Um, Again, uh, this model will be available on my website at cgboomer.com uh, along with the uh, textures. Uh, well, I haven't got textures in it yet, but I got all the reference materials and everything else in there for you. Uh, so you can go ahead and grab it and kind of play with it as you see fit. Uh, so uh, thank you for joining me and happy blending.